Good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer with St. Peter's Church in the Great Valley in All Hallows Wind Coach. Thursdays are the best days. Um, we're glad to be all together and with you. Uh, we are, as usual, in the prayer book on page 103. The psalm we will use today is Psalm 30, which begins in the prayer book on page 621. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 30, responsibly by whole verse. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you restored me to health. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life as I was going down to the grave. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks for the remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favor for a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night, but joy comes in the morning. While I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with your favor, made me as strong as the mountains. Then you hid your face, and I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord. I pleaded with the Lord, saying, what profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So today we um, are reading a passage of scripture that is set aside in commemoration of um, a man by the name of Ellie Knott, who was raised in the French Reformed Church, traveled to England because of persecution, and eventually the United States, where he settled in New York City and ended up spending most of his adult life serving and uh, worshiping at what we now call Trinity Wall Street. Um, the passage set aside for Ellie Knott this day is comes from the Gospel of Matthew from chapter 15, beginning at verse 21. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she keeps shouting at us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. Yet she said, Yes, Lord, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. So this is a pretty complex passage, and we're not going to get too deep into it, but I, I simply want to point out that <clears throat> this is uh, the only place in the entirety of the Gospels when Jesus turns to someone and says, great is your faith. And so as, as we sit today and uh, meditate on not only this passage, 
But this woman who came to Jesus seeking uh, relief and healing on behalf of her daughter and got into a, um, I'll just say, a protracted conversation with Jesus. At no point did she uh, turn away from him. She continued to lean into him, calling him Lord. Um, and her persistence and her faith uh, were honored by Jesus when he says, great is your faith. So I think on a, on this day, let us just take a moment and uh, reflect on uh, our faith, where it is strengthened, where we feel it um, sometimes shaken by the world around us, and how is it that we can uh, rest in and turn to the Lord in the midst of the trials and tribulations. Amen. Amen. We continue with the Kyrie. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed God, whose son Jesus calmed the waves and knelt to serve his disciples. We honor you for the witness of the Huguenot Elie Nod, remembered as mystic of the galleys and servant of slaves. And we pray that we, with him, may proclaim Christ in suffering and joy alike, and call others to join us in ministry to those littlest and least, following Jesus who came not to be ministered to, but to minister who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. In this moment of prayer and intercession, we, of course, invite your prayers, either aloud in the silence of your hearts or in the comments section. We begin by praying and lifting up all the people that are on the St. Peter's and All Hallows Parish prayer list. We lift them up knowing that God is there with them in whatever manner is needed, comfort, strength, courage, mercy. We trust them and their souls to God. We pray for those who are trapped in addiction, those who are struggling with their mental health. We pray for the hungry, the homeless, the unemployed, the underemployed, those who are living on the edge of financial calamity in their lives. We pray for hearts, to serve and hands to serve those who are in need. We pray for teachers and administrators and students and parents as the school years begin. And we pray that joy may be found in learning. We pray for the world. 
for an ending of violence everywhere, especially the end to the war in Ukraine and the war in the Sudan. We pray for world leaders, especially for those leading countries that are in tension with other countries, that peace, not just a superficial peace, but a, but a peace rooted in God will prevail. We pray for those who have suffered from natural disasters all over the globe, especially do we lift up those in Maui and those in Florida and those that are in harm's way everywhere. We pray for an end of gun violence in our communities. We pray for a respect of human dignity. We pray for an end of racism, individual racism and institutional racism that still exists. We pray for our communities of Malvern and Tredyffrin Townships and Paoli and Wincote, Abington, Jenkintown, Cheltenham and Glenside that our leaders may serve and our people be loved. We pray for the first responders in all our communities. We pray for the church for the universal church, the Anglican communion, the Episcopal church, our diocese of Pennsylvania, our deaneries and our parishes, all hallows and St. Peter's church in the great valley, that where, whatever we do and wherever we go, we may be sharing the light and love of Jesus Christ. We pray for all those who work in the church, volunteer or clergy, that they may be strengthened and upheld in their ministries. We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for the saints of St. Peter's and the saints of All Hallows, whose shoulders we stand on today. And we pause to give thanks. We give thanks for the blessings of this life, for the beauty of this day that is there. We just pray for hearts and eyes to see the beauty that surrounds us. We give thanks for the rhythm of life and birthdays and anniversaries and the starts of new school years. For the big blessings that we see and the big blessings that still go by unnoticed. We give thanks for my friends at St. Peter's and their ministry in this world. We give thanks for the people of All Hallows. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Thanks be to God. What a joy it has been to spend just a few moments in prayer and meditation with you. Um, thank you for joining us. It is, as I said, a privilege for us. Uh, what's going on at St. Peter's this week? So this is important. On Sunday, we have one service at 10 o'clock. One service this Sunday. Second Sunday. Oh, this is what Jeff wants to tell you. The bubbles are happening here. We have fun here at St. Peter's, which is good. Um <laughs> So we have one service at 10 o'clock. We were saying um, uh, goodbye and happy retirement to our organizing choir director, Bruce Bunny. So one service with celebratory conventions following. Um, and that's what's happening this coming weekend. And you. We have a service at 10 o'clock on Sunday. We will be honoring the ministry of the lectors during the service. Um, each month, we are choosing a different parish group, and we will recognize and pray for them as our um, goal to lift up year-round stewardship um, of all That's the a functions. great idea. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm happy. That's the excellent. So we're doing we're that during that the service? Anyway, that? go ahead. He's, we're going to steal your idea, but go ahead and keep telling people what you're doing. 
And then, and then after the service stay, um, we are going to move the location of our bar barbecue for the kickoff of the new program year to being here at the church because of the the very real possibility of inclement weather. So um, bring something to share, um, bring your smiles, bring yourselves. Sunday school starts at 10 o'clock in the lower level of the of the church. Uh, Storymakers NYC is our program and everyone is welcome here at All Hallows as I know they are at St. Peter's Church in the Great Valley. Absolutely. We hope that you have a magnificent and wonderful day. Uh, be at peace and pray for peace.